Hey guys, welcome to Cut the Cords demo video. With this video, we're going to try to go over all the frequently asked questions and concerns people might have. Try to show how the box works, but if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call or text, or you can message us. All our info is in the description, so just let us know. So when you get your box, this is what you're going to get right here, and you're going to see at the very top a couple of papers. You can see this one right here. This one's going to guide you through what we're about to do here, we're about to set it up on the internet. And you can actually take this thing anywhere you have internet and a TV. So you can take it on vacation, you can take it to a friend's house. And this guides you through hooking it up either on Wi-Fi or hooking it up to your modem with Ethernet cord. Uh, this paper right here is actually what we're going to go over in a second as well. This kind of helps you remember where to go to get all your different content, stuff like that. Um, you're going to see the remote right here. You're going to have, if you flip this little tab right here up, you got your power cord, you got your batteries for your remote, your HDMI cord, and also our card so that if you have any questions, anything like that, you lose our contact info. That way you can call, text, you can get a hold of us. And of course the box itself. So you're going to see here the box is actually... Uh, has the HDMI there, it has the Ethernet port, the power, has a couple of USBs in there, and um, it also has the Wi-Fi on the inside, so if you're going to hook it up to Wi-Fi, it'll do just, just right. Alright, so of course the first thing you're going to do, you're going to grab your power cord here, you're going to plug it right into the wall, you grab your HDMI cord, you're going to grab your box, and you're going to plug that HDMI cord right there where it says HDMI. And right into the back of your TV. And you're going to grab your remote. You're going to put your batteries in your remote. And flip this on. Now you're ready to roll. Now you're going to hook it up to your TV. And we're about to hook it up to the internet. Alright, now that you have the power, the HDMI hooked up, your TV on. This is what you're going to see right here. You're going to go over for Wi-Fi. Down to programs. Click on the one in the corner there, just like the paper says. You're going to go down to connections, you're going to click on your network, and you're going to enter your password, and that'll get you connected to the Wi-Fi. If you're going to do Ethernet cord, you're actually going to come to your box, there'll be the Ethernet plug in the back there, plug it in there, plug it into your modem, and you're now connected. So, whenever you go back to the main screen here, you're going to see a few things. We're going to go to videos. These things on the bottom you see are called add-ons, they're kind of like apps. This is where you're going to go for all your content. But uh, if you go from videos down to add-ons, there's over 180 add-ons in here so that if you have problems finding what you're looking for in the main ones up there, you can go through any of these. They're all free and they have pretty much everything you need. But we're going to start off right here. So probably the most popular one is going to be Exodus. We'll click on that. You can see the menu here. We're going to just start with movies. And you can choose any of these. I like to go to people watching. So once you do that, it's going to load up a quick list of what people are watching. We'll just go to Zootopia. You can see quite a few of the newest movies here. This is what's going to take the longest. This is actually going over the web and looking for different spots over the web that host this movie. So in a second, it's going to pull up a whole page of links. doesn't matter which link you click on. Are going to take you to that same movie. It's just so, no matter what, you can always get to the movie you want. So this is probably going to take about 30 seconds or so. so once that happens, you can see the different pages and the whole page of links I was talking about. That way, no matter what, you can always get it. I like to go to the very top one. So we'll just click on that. That's going to pull the movie up. You can see the movie and you can see it's clear HD. As soon as the movie comes out, I'm going most of the time it's before the movie comes out, you'll actually have it in HD. This is obviously not on DVD or Blu-ray yet. And we're going to go ahead and stop that. 
Now that's pretty much how all the movies work on here. You can see all the different popular movies here. And you can also go to the very bottom here. Go to search. Search the movie that you want. You can search the people search and that'll search the actor. Pull up every movie he's been in. Uh, TV shows work the same way. You're just going to go to TV shows. Go to people watching. You can see all the popular TV shows here. It's going to have every season, every episode, including the episode that just aired. It'll be on there in about three hours or less after it airs. So, and it's the same deal here. You can actually go to the bottom and search your title of your, your TV show, or else you can search the actor. It'll pull up every TV show they've been in. So that's pretty much how Exodus works. And for your sports and stuff, like your pay-per-views, you're actually going to go to Sports Devil. You're going to go to live sports and all this stuff is on the paper so that you know exactly how to get to it. And this is just like you saw for your movies, different places that host it over the web. I like to click on this one. So if it was a UFC pay-per-view tonight, you would click here. And it'll be in this list right here. You'll click on the one you want. And it'll actually have a bunch of different links to that same pay-per-view. Another cool thing about Sports Devil is if you go here to live TV. And I like to go to iLive. You can actually pull up live channels just like cable. So we'll just click on that one. The live stuff takes a little bit longer to load up. And whenever it does load up, it takes a second to catch, but then after that, you're all good. And you can use this box anywhere you have internet, 7 megabit per second or faster, and a TV with an HDMI. Economy number which as you know is issue number one for voters, as a place to really start building and becoming more and more competitive with Secretary So Clinton. there's the live CNN. And this thing also has music. So you can go over here, you can sign into Pandora. It gives you unlimited skips, no commercials. There's radio, worldwide, and local. Quite a few things inside music add-ons as well. And this actually does also have YouTube inside of videos. You can search YouTube. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.